saving this for my bed down below. Uh, we're having a day at sea. And I thought I'd take some text to go along with the video that I plan to make later today. And this one's going to be all about Tiller because my mom's been sick and I know how much she enjoys the video, she and my dad, and I had a request to have more dog. So here's a view from my window and, well, all about Tiller. She's an Australian Labradoodle that we got in Massachusetts when she was eight weeks old. And we timed getting her with the timing of vaccinations that are required to travel. So one thing that's really important with a dog is all of the health certificates and concerns that are needed for traveling and rabies is the most important one but of course they need all their vaccinations and a rabies vaccination can't be before they're three months old and then it must be 30 days before they travel. We have U.S. Department of Agriculture certified rabies certificate and plus we had a rabies titer test. The rabies titer test is when the vet does a blood draw and sends it to a lab to ensure that there are antibodies against the rabies vaccine. And some countries, such as um, some British colonies in the Caribbean, do require rabies titer test to be able to enter with the dog. I'm going to answer some questions that um, I've had from various people. The first question, where does the dog go on the boat? When Tiller was young, we lived on a dock on Boston, in Boston and we had some grass on our balcony and she was trained to go in the grass. That worked really well, but between living in our condo and selling the house and moving on the boat, we lived in an apartment and she learned to love her walks and going on real grass. So she had to be retrained to grow, to go on a little piece of um, grass. And so <laughs> Sandy and Tiller to sleep in her bed. She was playing with Sandy all morning, so she's all tuckered out. And where are we now, Pierre? Well, uh, probably halfway. We left Corsica at about 8 in the evening, so that we would be arriving in my ground model. Because of the headwind, of course, we're not supposed to sail upwind, but because of the upwind, we're expected to be arriving in my ground mud Saturday morning at 8. And because of a rough night with big waves, we weren't able to achieve our target speed. So now we are expecting to be there at 9.47 in the morning. So we've lost about an hour 40 minutes. Yeah, well, I said that we weren't able to meet our target. That's absolutely wrong. The boat was achieving its target very well. But eating, eating six foot square waves at 10, 11 knots going upwind is not fun, so we backed up. And there were some other people, mainly me, <laughs> who said, let's put the reef back in the name. <laughs> Dogs like to chew, so how do we prevent Tiller from chewing on ropes? Well, since she was very literal, we never let her play with rope toys, never. And if she ever chewed on any rope, she was told that was really the wrong thing to do. The only time today that she might be tempted by a rope is that there's something dangling and blowing in the wind. So we make sure we don't have any dangling cords and try to keep all the ropes tidy on board. But she can lie in a pile of ropes and we trust her not to chew because she's been well trained never to touch a rope. And it could be problematic if she started to chew in the middle of a halyard, so that's very important. If you plan to have your dog on, the, on a boat, never let them have rope toys. Safety. Safety is really important on a boat. Tiller is always tied up when we're at sea. Always, no matter how calm. One little accident and she would be very hard to spot. And we keep her life preserver on. So, if we're at a mooring, we will let her roam around the boat. We keep an eye on her because if she slipped overboard, even if the ladder's in the water, she needs just a little bit of help to get back up. Does Tiller get seasick? She hasn't been seasick. She does get sick when she eats something terrible. And when we were in port two days ago, she was sick. And when she's sick, I give her a little bit of chicken broth and rice, and that usually clears up in a day. 
Um, but I always keep chicken broth on board in case I think she's not drinking enough water at sea so she stays well hydrated. She will always drink dilute homemade chicken broth. Tiller's an Australian Labradoodle, so a mix of a poodle and a lab. And both breeds love to swim, but it was really important that Tiller learned to swim early so that she would really love the water. So when it was winter in Massachusetts, we took her down to Florida to visit friends and had a great time teaching her how to swim. Are on a boat. Well, there are lots of things you can do with a dog. One of the things I like to do is to do some training. So Tiller is trained to sit, stay, come, and also to wash her feet. Tiller, sit. Good girl. Now stay. Stay. Good girl. Okay, come on. Good girl. Mm -hmm.